Okay, so if we're going to start a new leggings design, what we want to do is basically get rid of all of this information but use this same template like we did last time. I don't want to sit there and draft or create the outline layer and the design layer all over again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go File, Save As, and I'm going to save this as the, um, what are we calling it? Stockings Leggings. And I'm going to save it as an AI document, an illustrated document, so we can edit it later if we need to. Click Save. Yeah, replace it, that's fine. Click OK. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click file and then save as again and this time I'm going to call it chevron leggings and it's going to have been Adobe Illustrator file once again let's click save yep replace it I've kind of done this but I'm redoing it okay so now this has been saved as a completely different illustration so it doesn't matter if we literally just get rid of that entire design layer we can also go to the body glove layer and we can delete that body glove layer as well so at the moment all we have is the outline layer and the template and you can see that there you go, so that's our outline layer. So what I'm going to draft next is something slightly more complicated, which is this leggings block here, yeah, quite unique. Um, and I'm going to show you a slightly different technique when it comes to, let's say, drafting or creating these panels that we can then fill. So first of all, let's work on this little uh, waistline here. So we have this same back as we did before, but we have this little opening, and we also have this beautiful chevron detail on the front with this little overlap or crossover front. So let's start with that. So first of all, let's just lock all our layers except for the design layer. Okay, so on the design layer, I'm going to start drafting. I'm not going to worry about my outline layer at the moment. I'm just going to draft on the design layer. So I'm going to get my pen tool. Also, let's make sure we have a stroke thickness and a sorry a stroke color which is black let's make sure there's no fill let's also change this to be 0.5 and I'm just going to click on this point and we've got this little sort of like chevron waist at the front now what I'm going to do is I'm not just going to draw a line I'm then going to follow the line of this I'm drawing a panel on top of my outline okay so I can then simply fill this particular one piece if I want to like so okay which makes it really simple in fact I might just work with color as I go to show you the different panels I'm creating Okay, great. So I've created the front, which is this, looking great. And the back, uh, we can create the back as well. So let's go to my pen tool. Let's click. Let's click here and let's click here as well. I'm also going to go down roughly the same distance. I'm going to click down and then let's go up slightly and then down and then click. And then I'm going to my anchor, pen, anchor point tool and I'm just going to smooth that out. There we go, just by clicking and dragging and holding the shift key to keep it on the horizontal. And that's my back panel. Let's have a look. Yeah, looking good. Okay, so my outline is obviously slightly off now, so I'm going to change that as well. You could do it at the end, but I'm going to change it now to stop things from being confusing. So I'm going to lock my design details layer, go to my outline layer, and then now I'm just going to move these points down. In fact, I can minus those points. I can minus these points, and then small selection tool, click this, drag it down and then go to the anchor point tool, click and that will remove the curvature and also this seam here, I'm going to move that down to here because it doesn't actually go up into the waistband, this is a separate waistband altogether same here as well, let's move that down ok so it's starting to look a little bit more like my illustration in fact you know what, let's go back to our design layer, so now we've fixed the outline layer ok, we're going to go back to our design layer actually I'm going to make this slightly thicker so to do that, I'm just going to get this point, I'm going to drag it down a little bit, I'm going to drag it down by the same amount on the front, same this side, maybe nudge that down a bit more, that's quite a lot. So a small section tool, I can click on that line and move the whole line up. Same with this one, move that up, move that point down. You can shift these around as much as you like, just click the points, use the arrow keys on your keyboard. Do the same for the back here, let's make it slightly deeper than it was before, just nudge it down a bit. Great, nudge it down. Yeah, looking good. Well, maybe a little bit more. Sorry, I'm faffing around here. I should probably just get on with it. Oh, it's still too small. There we go. That's okay. I'm going to leave it like that. That's fine. Okay, so next, what I'm going to do is this has a little overlay or a little overlap, which is quite cute. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this on the design layer. I'm just going to get my line tool and I'm just simply going to draw a line from here to about here, and I'm trying to make it parallel with this line, or oh, sorry, so it actually extends there we go, so what I can do is let's just move that around, small selection tool, just my arrow keys and I'm going to give this a 1.25 fill which matches my outline, so now you can see it looks like we have a crossover, so we're using the thickness of the lines to indicate 
seams or raw edges or um, let's say finished edges. There we go. You know what? I'm also going to give that a little rounded edge. There we go. It's alright. It's not too bad. Okay, so that's looking great. Our waistband's looking fantastic. I also want to add this little area here, which is quite cute. So I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to get my pen tool and I'm going to mark a point here, 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 here and here. Now you see what we're doing is we're not we're not sorry, we're not cutting the existing outline. We're just creating panels on top of it and you can be as neat as you like or as rough as you like. It's completely up to you. I'm doing this reasonably quickly, otherwise we'll be here all day. So I've just created that little little opening at the back there. I've no idea if that's even going to be viable, but we've done it anyway. And we've also given it a, a 1.25 fill, or sorry, line width to denote that it is actually part, it is actually a hole in the back of those blocks, or in the back of the, the leggings. So let's go to our outline layer. And now what we can do is we can start to, there we go, so that seam actually wants to go to the top there. This seam can come down a little bit, and that's looking a little bit cleaner. Also, you know what, we removed those lines, um, but you know what, we're going to add this panelling anyway, so we don't need those lines anymore to display the bum. So let's have a look at our panelling. Okay, so these panels here are quite interesting. So let's actually start drafting them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark a point roughly in the middle of the thigh, and I'm going to take it down to the middle of the knee. I'm going to do the same on both sides, just to give me a guide as to where these points are going to be. So let's take a point, let's mark it here, and let's mark it there. So that's my guideline, essentially. Okay, so the way I did that is just simply go to the pen tool. I'm going to click a point here, and I'm going to click a point there, and that will give me my my line. So what I'm going to do next is, let's just move this in ever so slightly. I'm then going to start creating my panels. So I'm going to go to my pen tool, and I'm going to start, where does it start? Starts about, okay, starts about here, essentially. So that's the top point. So I'm just going to click, I'm then going to go to the outside of my thigh, let's move it down ever so slightly, I'm going to click and drag to create a little bit of curvature, just to show that it is actually a curved thigh, and you know what, that's probably not down enough, so I'm going to get that point, so I'm going to click that line, get the small selection tool, click on that point and drag it down even further, maybe a bit more shaping there, get my pen tool, click on that point, and let's take that down quite far as well. That looks great. And you know what? Instead of having to do that over and over again, I'm going to get my big selection tool. I'm going to click on this. I'm then going to go hold down my Alt key. I'm going to click and drag. And I'm going to line it up. You see how I'm lining that point up? It's not doing a very good job. Let's zoom in. So once again, big selection tool. I'm going to click on that point there. I'm going to hold down the Alt key or the Option key on my keyboard. And I'm just going to move it along that line. I'm just going to release it. And then I'm going to hit Command D, 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 okay, to make things a little bit simpler. I've gone slightly off here, which is a shame. So what I'm going to do is, really fun tool, I'm going to get my big section tool. I'm going to select all of these. I'm then going to go to my align. And that didn't do anything whatsoever, so we're not going to do that. That's fine. <laughs> what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get my big section tool. I'm going to click on this bottom one. And I'm just going to nudge it with my arrow keys into position. Same with that one. Big section tool, click and nudge click and then nudge with my arrow keys just so they're in position. That looks fab. Next we're going to get our small selection tool and I want to make sure these points actually meet up with the leg. So I'm just going to get that point with my arrow key just nudge it in. Point, arrow key, nudge it in. Same with this one, nudge it in. These ones we can do the same. We can just drag these ones in. Drag these ones in, click and drag, click on that point, drag it in, point, drag it in. And we can also, because these are looking really odd, we can actually move these points up. So I'm going to click on this point here. I'm going to move it up to about there. That looks a bit better. And then what we're going to do is... Hang on a second. I'm going to select this point, click on that line, select the next point, click on that line, select the next point, click on that line, select the next point, click, hold down the shift key, select, click, hold down the shift key, click on those points and same with that one. And then, once I've got all those little points selected, I'm just going to average, and it didn't work. Brilliant. Let's forget that entirely. This isn't going very well. So I'm just going to do it manually. I'm going to drag that line up. I'm going to drag that line up. Drag that line up ever so slightly. So I'm just like positioning these myself independently. I was hoping that would go better. 
Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so that's looking much, much better. So now, let's move that point in ever so slightly. So that's looking good, although I'm feeling that these ones are slightly larger. Let's just also remove this line. Let's get the small section tool, delete that a few times. I'm going to take these points, so this point here, going to click and drag, holding down the shift key, just select these points. I'm just going to nudge them up, so I can move these around, you see. If I've got them all selected and it's just those points, I can move these up to make them look far better. Okay, I'm happy with that for the time being. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get my big selection tool, I'm going to click and drag, and I'm going to right click and then transform, reflect, and then hit copy. I'm then going to just move that across with my nudge keys on my keyboard, place it in roughly the same position. Now this leg is slightly further out, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my rotation tool, which is here, or R on your keyboard, click on that point, and I'm just going to rotate it until we get it roughly in the same place. Then once again with this side, I'm just going to nudge these points in until we get something that looks, or that matches that outside edge. These ones seem to be okay. What about this one? This one can go in and up ever so slightly. Just get my small selection tool, clicking on that point, nudging in and up. There we go. I'm Okay, so that's pretty much what we have on here. It is going to be slightly different because it's a different block, or I've, I've just I've drawn it slightly differently. So now we want to create panels out of these. At the moment, they're just lines. There's no fill. If I were to add a fill to this, it would just be a mess. So what I want to do is I want to start to join. I want to create a panel out of these two pieces together. And to do that, I'm going to get my small selection tool. I'm going to click on that point, hold down my shift key, and then click on that point and then I can right click and hit join and you can see there's a line that's now joined those two panel pieces do the same on the opposite side, small selection tool, click hold down the shift key, click, right click, join and now we have a panel that is made up of those two lines and we can fill it with whatever we want looking really nice I'm going to do the same with both of these sorry with all of these, I'm just going to join them I'm going to join and let's do this final one here luckily we've got an even number of these, otherwise I might have to do another one. Join. You know what, I'm going to use my Pathfinder for this. Unite. Select this one here. Unite. There we go. Do the same on this side. Join them. Same. Join. Join. Right click. Join. And then let's just Pathfind. Click on that one. Pathfind. You see it fills that line in. It's just uniting those two edges and unite. Okay, so that is the second part of this design. Next we have these really funky sort of like, uh, what are they called? Um, oh, what is it called again? Power mesh. So we want to create these really interesting panels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another, let's say, panel. Uh, and you know what? I should be in my design layer, but I've been naughty. I've put it on my outline layer. So you know what? I'm just going to get my big selection tool. I'm going to grab these, you can tell that because they're red and they should be green. I'm going to grab these, I'm going to go edit, cut, I'm going to go to my design layer, I'm going to lock down my outline layer and then paste them in, keep it nice and tidy, and then I just nudge it down until we get them in the right place, which is about there pretty much. I mean it's not, but you can have a lot of fun with this. <laughs> Once you have them, they're incredibly easy and effortless to design with, it's just getting them right. And once you uh, once you become very fluent at this, you can do them very quickly. I think I can produce a line of about 10 in about an hour using the templates, but you've just got to become a bit more fluent and faster at it, basically. Okay, so let's work on the next bit. So it's these panels just underneath the thigh, or underneath the crotch. So once again, I'm on my design layer now this time, which is great. I'm not working on the outline layer. I'm going to click here. And I'm going to follow the line of this kind of shape here. So I'm going to click and drag. So once again, I've got my pen tool click. I'm going to click about here, click and hold and drag to follow the line of that nice detailing underneath. I'm then going to hit the Enter key, click on that point, come down, come down to this point, click and drag. I'm going to mimic the existing line, click, and then take that up. And we probably need another point here as well. So that's one panel created. Let's do the same for the opposite side. Let's take it up to about here. Let's create that nice curvature. Click on that point. Click this point. Click and drag to create the nice curved bezier. 
click on that point click here and then let's create a tiny bit of shaping in there okay so that's my other panels great so now we have a whole bunch of these panels which is looking amazing so that's the front of our design pretty much finished okay as you can see now we need to translate this to the back and I'm not going to draw all of that all over again so what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply select this these panels here and select these panels here I'm then going to go transform reflect and then vertical copy I'm just going to drag that over to the opposite side let's kind of roughly put them into position they're not going to be perfect but that's okay and now we can start fiddling around with these lines so actually let's get rid of these completely because they're not that useful at this point in time let's grab these big selection tool just clicking and dragging holding down the shift key and then let's just move that up ever so slightly I'm trying to line it up here so move it down a little bit great let's just take these ones so big section tool click and drag to select all of them and let's just move that out ever so slightly we can move that out a tiny bit as well not trying to get it perfect but just so we have gone, gone haven't got to do too much work same with this one let's just click and drag those out ever so slightly and I think now we should be good to get our small selection tool see once you've done the artwork you can then copy and paste and transform and do all kinds of things to make it much easier and quicker so you know and you can also save all these in libraries so you can just pull them out next time and just change them ever so slightly to suit the design you're working on so although it seems like it takes a long time it is actually quite efficient in the end and just wait till you, we start adding colors and um, grouping areas it's, and start using the, um, the eyedropper. It's going to be fun. And it's all coming up. Sorry, I get carried away with this. I quite enjoy this kind of stuff. Okay, so that's our back pretty much created. Let's have a look at these panels here. Okay, so we've got a different concept. That's fine. So I'm going to draw in my bum lines here because I really need that guidance. So I'm just going to click and then create a bum line. There we go. Let's move that up ever so slightly. Let's do the same from the opposite side. Let's create a bum line. Okay, so these are slightly higher up than they were on this one, but you know what? I'm not going to worry about that at this point in time. I don't have much time. It's a design. So now I'm going to draw my paneling. So I'm going to click, click and drag, click, click, click and let's do this line as well so I'm just tracing and then here we can there we go let's pull this one up as well you really have a practice with these pen tools especially when it comes to this clicking and dragging concept because it allows you to create some really beautiful curves but it also can be a little bit tricky okay let's nudge that up Let's create a little bit more depth there. Okay, great. So these are our new designs. And that's pretty much finished. Let's have a look. Yeah, I mean, it's not exactly the same, but it's pretty close. So that's looking pretty good. So what I want to do now is because we have, I want to create this little fill. And we've done that recently. But I want there to be a color underneath the fill. So at the moment, if I was to just, let's say, take this and take this and this panel and this panel, let's go to our swatches and then just fill that. I mean that's great, but what if I want to add a color underneath? Well, to do that, so for example, if I was, if I was to add a color, you see you'd lose that fill. So what we want to do is we want to start layering panels. So let me take this. Uh, so I've selected all of these items here. So big selection tool, click, hold down the shift key, click, click to queue up the selections. I'm going to then go edit, copy, edit, paste. And I'm just going to simply overlay that over the existing one. So now we have two. So now, if I go to Object and then Lock Selection, you can see that the ones underneath are now accessible. And I can change them to be, well, let's just take this color, for example. So now we have two. Let me just show you. You see, we have two layers. We have this layer that has that detail and we also have the color layer underneath and we're just doing that simply by copying and pasting and then placing it over the top of the existing one okay which works really really well so now let's start adding color to our patterns or adding color to our um, leggings <laughs> 